and we figured what better way to make save some extra money for college. There are worse ways to save money for college than doing this. A realization that hit Michigan Tech senior engineering students Ben Vanderhyde and Brett Bruner kind of out of the blue when Brett here dropped his phone in Lake Superior. And my first thought was, oh, we have scuba diving equipment. So I kind of triangulated my location and uh, about five hours later we were back in the water going down and uh, Ben actually found it. The pair knew they weren't the only ones who accidentally dropped things in deep water but were one of the few folks who had the equipment and skills to go in after them and retrieve them from the bottom. So it all started off when uh, my uncle reached out and said, hey, my friend dropped some fishing equipment. Like, would you guys go to like recover it? You know, he'll give you some money. And we're like, oh, that's a good idea. A good idea that turned into a summer job. We've been pretty busy. We get a lot of messages for phones or fishing equipment or stuff here and there. Uh, I'm sure as you can believe, we get a lot after the 4th of July when everybody's out in the water and People are bound to lose stuff then, so people send us a message and see if we can't find whatever they dropped off their boat or any accidents that happen like that. Some jobs are easy. Others require a little more skill, luck, and patience. It really depends a lot on the water. If we're out here in the bay or some of the clearer lakes like Elk Lake, we've got a really good success rate if you've got a good, good location on it. I would say at that point it's probably 80 or 90 percent. Some of the inland lakes, that's where things get dicey. If there's weeds on the bottom or a lot of muck and silt, it's almost impossible. We'll bring out a underwater metal detector. Cell phones and fishing gear seem to be the most frequent calls, but this pairs up for just about anything. They get to dive, something they love to do. They get paid, something they need for college, and they get the reward of bringing stuff back to the surface from someplace it never should have been. Well, the reaction is, first off, wow, you found it. Like, when you drop something in the water, you don't expect it to be recovered. So first they're like that, and then they're just very happy that they took this opportunity to let us out there and get in the water.